In part two of the Simron Easy Roller video, we'll explore a few techniques that will maximize your enjoyment of this precision instrument. Later, some of these tips will even apply to most other auger style injectors. Now, the most often expressed concern of auger machine users is premature hot ash dropping. This machine, as shown in part one, already does better than any other auger machine we've seen. And by the way, note the flip top feature of the catch tray lid as it really cuts down on tobacco mess when closed and makes cleaning the nozzle each time easier when open. The slower speed motor setting as well as the central agitator wire running through the auger and the higher tension setting all contribute to this machine's capability. But there are even more things one can do to create even more stable sticks. Let's take a look at a typical injection first during which we will use the hopper attachment. Now while this hopper does allow one to put more tobacco at one time in the machine, it can require that one hand is constantly pushing on the higher column of tobacco to get it to feed properly. Again, we've set the motor speed to its lowest setting and the tension adjustment to maximum. Now using the hopper has advantages, but we're focused here on better, more stable sticks rather than mere quantity. Makes a very nice stick this way, but we can do even better. By not using the hopper and feathering and packing the tobacco for fewer sticks at once, you have one hand free to do the following. Once again, note how clean the nozzle is as the tube is put on and the time spent feathering the tobacco. This will make the tobacco feed more naturally into the auger itself and increase how smoothly the tube moves along the nozzle. And more importantly, notice what I'm doing with my now free hand, which is placing very slight pressure with my finger on the end of the tube as it fills. The stick we have made now has some tobacco overhang which usually only spoon injectors can achieve. And this allows one to tap down the stick to more evenly compress the tobacco and still have a fully filled tube. It's a much better stick, but now again, let's make it even better. What you're looking at now is a standard auger tip on the left and one that has been deburred on the right. Visually a rather dramatic difference. You can easily do this deburring on any auger and the result is an auger which will not tear up the tobacco like most standard augers. The tool used for deburring is an easy to find and cheap emery board, the kind one may use for smoothing fingernails. You start with the more coarse orange side of the emery board and after all the sharp edges are dulled and rounded, finish it off with the less coarse tan side for even more smoothness. It only takes a few minutes to do this very simple fix and the resulting improvement in the auger function is dramatic, most especially with the low speed motor setting of the easy roller driving the auger. Now this next demonstration on a paper notepad is quite revealing with the original rough auger easily tearing the paper with almost no force applied. After the auger has been properly smoothed out, as you can see it is hard to even make an impression on the paper. This translates to a great deal less stress on the tobacco strands and ultimately a stick that will hold tobacco far more efficiently. Please note that the latest versions of the Easy Roller already have smooth finished augers from the factory, but this technique will work both on older Easy Roller augers as well as any other auger machine. So let's make another stick now using the cleaned up auger. I'm using my finger to depress the tension bar here rather than the button on top. Works either way. Remember the importance of thoroughly feathering the tobacco. I once again use my finger to lightly guide the tube off as it's filled. Notice however, this time I stop the motor just as the tube is ready to come off. Then giving it a slight bump with the motor to fully release the tube, you can see the much larger and even more stable amount of tobacco overhang that is very easily tapped down to make the most consistent stick that any auger design can make. You can then dump the much nicer excess tobacco right back into the machine chamber. The Easy Roller is now quite capable of making very stable sticks. Even so, any tube filled or even packaged cigarette will occasionally drop its cherry. And in any situation where prematurely dropping ash can cause damage to clothing or car seats, or for those that smoke indoors, rugs, chairs, and couches, 
one must always consider this as a real possibility. So we finish with our strong suggestion that you use a nice tin can with a snug fitting lid and filled with a small layer of well cleaned gravel. Much better than sand as the stick won't go out as it does when poked into sand. Plus good sand today is harder to find and in the end getting the ashes out of the sand is much more difficult anyway. When you put the lid on the can the stick will go out pretty quickly as oxygen is used up. But with the lid off the gravel will keep the heat of the stick away from you while still allowing you to pick up the stick for a puff without relighting. The can can sit right in your lap and when convenient raise it even closer to your mouth when taking a puff. And when you're finished smoking and have a chance to discard the used butts. They're easily removed and should always be placed in a trash can, not thrown out into the environment. Finally, you only have to use a strainer into which you pour the now butt-free gravel and shake and sift until all the ashes are removed, and then pour the clean gravel right back into the can. This is a simple yet elegant solution for protection from not only premature hot ash dropping, but one that provides far less distraction, especially when driving, and most especially when compared to groping around for your car's ashtray each time. This can will become a very useful companion you can keep with you almost any time you intend to smoke. So make your can a pretty one, and enjoy. The new Easy Roller from Cimarron International represents a true milestone in auger-style injectors. Using the preceding suggestions, we think you'll be amazed at the improvements. And a new patented design change to the wire auger itself has in very recent testing shown this machine capable of making sticks every bit as stable as any other injector method. Read more about this new auger and how to get it in the supporting text of this video in the injector section of Roll Your Own Magazine. The new Easy Roller, it's unlike any other.